Yo, yo, yo. Hide, gain, multiply. Hide, gain, multiply. Hide, gain, multiply. What's going on? Uh, so, now, I was thinking about this, that in Matthew, the Bible talks about the parable of talents and the three key things that happen with different individuals. One hid what he was supposed to multiply or make increase. One went through the process of increasing by gain and then the other he went through the process oh that's too much light by multiplying thinking about the guy who hid if you look at the heart of this guy that hid you really see a person that has good intentions that has at least good character because he said I might not know what to do with this I may not know how to increase like these other guys but I know how tough this guy is this master is I know he's going to come back and inspect so I'm a, I'm a at least hide so nothing can happen to it. Nothing can happen to it for me because I don't know. And nothing can happen to it from a security uh, way that someone can steal what he gave me so that I can at least present it back to him. If somebody did that to me and I, and I gave them a project and I said to them, I need you to take care of this. If they came back and said, you know what, I didn't really want to mess up this project, so I'm going to just give it back because I, I I feel like I'm going to mess it up. I feel like I don't have the knowledge base to, to increase this. Like, I know you want it because everything you touch, touch is excellent. So, I can't meet that standard. I don't even have to the resources or the know-how to do it the way I know you need it. So I'm making it. I, personally, I would be like, wow, man, you know? On the, at the very least, I appreciate that. Because a lot of people will try to be like, well, you know, let me flip this, whoop the boop. That's a New York term. <laughs> I never use that. Whoop the whoop. Um, I got this. I know how to do it. I'll go on YouTube. I'll figure out how to do it. This is my first time doing it. And then it comes out all jacked up. What this person did, because of his ignorance, and also he, his know, him knowing that he was ignorant of how to use the talent the way it was expected for him, in, expected for him to use it. He said, man, I know I can't do what these guys do. So let me at least hide it. So we hit it. Seemed like a good thing to do. Seemed like someone with a high character. But what happened to this person? He had a tragic situation happen to him. The master came back. He got in his grill. You're not willing to take a risk You're not willing to go out and at least try to figure out how to make this happen. Because you hid this thing. You're going to get punished. Matter of fact, you can't enter in to prosperity won't you go to hell? Read it. It's interesting. He sent this 
person that hid his talent to a worse off place, an eternally worse off place, based on this parable. Why is this not being taught? Why are all the people in church right now, there's so many people in church that have talents, that have gifts that are given to them by the master. They have gifts that are given that they don't know how to themselves Oops. They don't know how to multiply or gain or increase their gift because they're listening to someone who did it before the in front of them. Someone before a pastor or a teacher, apostle or prophet that's telling them, hey man, look what I did. Man, you know what? Because I'm good ground, man, and I'm doing this. You need to sow into me. But that person never reaches back and teach them how to increase. So if we think the Bible is true, then what happened to those who are afraid because of, because of ignorance? I'm afraid because of ignorance. I'm afraid because of ignorance. You're afraid because of ignorance. So based on this chapter and this verse, what happens?